Every 12 and we are having a collection. No, not collection update. A video of my United Runts models. And first we'll start off with the GCB 8060. GCB 8060 has a nice boom with a nice digging depth in the boom. Well, the bucket's plastic and I don't really like plastic. And then the cylinder, that piece of the bucket, and I bet you could have done a better job on the hydraulics. Cylinder, United Rents logo, JCB logo. And then another cylinder and the pins. Same as on the other side. <coughs> Sorry. Moving on to the cab. Well, the cab is very plain, I'd say. And there's nothing, no levers, no nothing in it, no pedals or anything. And that's very bad. That's the only thing bad on this model. Including the hydraulics. And um in the back of it there's some grill on there. I don't know what that thing is. And then here's the exhaust, I'm guessing. GCB logo to, I don't know what that is, deflectors. And then more of that stuff, GCB logo, and United Rents logo, and the 86 logo, and 1-800-UR Rents right there, right there. And then United Rentals logo, and another engine that opens probably. Moving on to the tracks. The tracks are plastic, and I really like them. They have these gold plates, and then this thing, and this thing. And moving on to the blade, the blade has a little part in there that attaches to the blade, which makes it go up and down. And um, that's mostly it. Oh, except for the cab, top cab. There used to be a light up there, but it fell off. And then there's the 1-800 UR Rents logo, and... The cab has some um, little holes in it. <coughs> Why, but it's on there. So, and moving on, we'll move on to the Takeuchi. So, the Takeuchi is a very nice model. TL8. It is the uh, my best for first gear model I've ever seen, and is my best United Rentals model. Moving on to the back. Well, the back, it has a grill and the Takayuchi logo and then the exhaust and some plates and those things and a few bolts and then a window and the United Rent symbol and I don't know what that is but it's something back there and then the cab has a little bit of mush on it right there but no holes like the side some mush that opens up that opens up and you can see inside the cab, sort of. Oh, sorry. And then we got the arm brake on it. And then the cylinder, which is very good. And you got a step right there. And the bucket with Takayuchi logos, which I don't really like. And then the railings. And then inside the cab is very detailed. You got a Takayuchi symbol. Takayuchi symbol up there. Some lights. Seat belt le levers. Oh, on the side. TL White logo. United Rents logo. And uh, moving on to the tracks. The tracks have very good detail and the roller pins are very good. And, um, and there's some silver stuff on the bucket. And then some warning decals. The warning decals on there. And then the tracks are very good on this side too. And next we'll move on to the JLG United Events forklift. I mean not forklift, aerial lift. So moving on. So this is a full uh, stand up. Full capacity. And um back here on the basket we got these things. 
more of these on each side. There's one over here, one over here, and then this. These come out, but I don't really want to do that. And then open way, and there's such an open way over here too. And that. This is the control side. There's a control there. You can see, it, yeah. And um. GLG logo, United Rents logo, another United Rents logo, another United Rents logo, JLG logo, and now going down to the, um, these things, I don't know what they're, these things, I don't know what they're called, um, we got a little piece of something that holds it up, the basket, and, United Rents logo, another United Rents logo, United Rents logo over here, one over here, and nothing all the way to the bottom. And then there's some legs. Sit down. Some steps to get in it. Holes. Four holes in the side. Another no step, gas hole, gas um, cap, and some stuff there, bolts, tires are very good, and then there's some stuff over there, more st stuff over there, and um, mostly on. So moving on to the bottom. Well, as you can see, tires move by these little functioning things, stuff, and, um, it's mostly all on the bottom. Oh, hydraulics up in there. That's the rest of the last two wheels. And now, last but not least, the first gear, Red Rentals Jordan Flat roll back. So here it is. The United Rentals Jordan roll back roll back flatbed. Well the front is very good. We got a bumper, some lights, ride gear logo, windshield wipers, we got a cab, we got lights on top, we got one uh uh we got radio logo, United Rents, and that was just the truck going by. And United Rents logo in the US dot steps. We got a um some an an air hole for the stuff I forget. Nothing on this side. We got gas caps over there and over here, and something over there. It might be for oil or something. And then there's the toolboxes. And then, and there's only two wheels on the front and four wheels on the back. So one, two. It's a six wheeler, and um. Hold on, let me count. It's a ten wheeler actually. And then we got the lights, beacon, and then you need some controls. This is the first year Jordan Jordan logo. And we got a hitch under there. And then there's another lever over there. And then on the bottom, we got wheels, the drive shaft, these things. We got some pin system, and this thing must drop. Oh, but I'm not sure if it drops. And then the hitch, some lights. And some more lights. 
the lights under here. And then going up the flat bed, first we got the metal. So things like the Takayuchi can easily back up. Like this. You see? And then wood in the middle. It's fake though. And then some um metal, more metal on the sides. We got a headache rack and um light beacon, chains, chain couplers, a winch, and um that's mostly all. And thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.